Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung. Wouldn't it be great if you could sit down at a piano, play anything you want, and have that instantly turned into sheet music? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you just how to do that. So the other day, we had a fantastic pianist come into the showroom looking for a digital piano, and she wanted to be able to connect that digital piano to an app on her iPad for writing sheet music. Now, most folks who are using music notation software use a digital piano to enter the notes in one at a time. It's a little bit like writing it by hand. It's a little bit faster with a digital keyboard. But what I was able to show her is with her app, we could simply play, play freely, and whatever was played would be instantly transcribed into the app. So let's go over some of the hardware and software setup that we need to put together. First thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about the piano. So one of the requirements of this pianist was to find a piano with a great action. And that has a lot to do with how you feel when you're improvising. If you're at a terrific instrument with a good feel of the action that feels realistic, you're going to tend to play more realistically. And we're in front of the Yamaha Avant Grand N3X Hybrid Grand Piano. This is a digital piano that has the wooden action of a traditional acoustic grand piano. Real wooden keys, real wooden action, terrific, the same feedback that you would get on a traditional grand piano, but it's all digital sound. And of course, being digital means I can use this piano to connect to a computer or a tablet like the iPad over here. This is Yamaha's MDBT01 Bluetooth MIDI adapter. This is going to connect into my Yamaha N3X through the MIDI ports and then wirelessly talk to my iPad and the music notation app. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to plug this into the digital piano. In this case, the N3X's MIDI ports. So right now I'm lying on my back underneath the N3X towards the tail end. And if you look up from the ground, you'll see that there's this control box with all these ports, and I'm looking for the MIDI port, which has two holes, an in-hole and an out-hole. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach our MDBT01 dongle to these two ports. Now, take a look. Those little holes, there's some holes in that particular pattern, okay? We're going to look at the dongle, and you can notice that there are pins that we correspond to those holes as well. Okay, so moving the direction of those pins, you'll see this arrow, and that is going to the in Okay, so let's go ahead and line up those pins. Make sure we align that carefully, and we're going to insert that into the oops into the in MIDI port over here. Let's give that a try. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to take the other one. You'll notice that the arrow is pointing the opposite direction away from those pins. We're going to put this one into the out port. Okay, now let's go ahead and do that. And if your N3X is powered on, you should notice that there is a light that comes on on the out dongle, the out MIDI dongle. The dongle is self-powered from the MIDI port itself. It's drawing its power from the MIDI port. So when your N3X turns on, this will, will immediately self-power and be ready to be discovered. All right, now that we have our Bluetooth MIDI adapter connected, let's go to our iPad and make sure we have the Notion app downloaded and installed. Let's go ahead and open up Notion. And this is what we see on the home screen, some sample scores. And along the top menu bar, we see the option to create a new score. So let's go ahead and tap on that icon. Let's give the song a name. Now we have the option to select the instruments we want to compose with. I'm just going to keep it simple for right now and tap on Piano or the Piano Grand Staff Score. Tap on Add Next. If you want to add more instruments, tap on the plus button, but let's just keep it simple for now. You can tap outside anywhere, ready to go. Okay, a couple of things we need to do to make sure that this app is talking to my hybrid grand piano. Tap on the settings icon, which you find, you'll find on the bottom. It kind of looks like a, a gear icon. Tap on that. And then tap on Bluetooth MIDI devices. You'll see a list of 
available Bluetooth MIDI devices. And here you can see the MDBT01 is an option. It's not connected yet, so tap on that. Now we are connected. Okay, tap anywhere outside of that box. We're going to tap a couple more places. Right now we're going to look for an icon that looks like a set of piano keys. Tap on that. You want to make sure that the icon that looks like a circle with a pencil inside is highlighted blue. If not, make sure it is by tapping on it. Okay? Now before we start recording, I want to actually adjust the tempo or the speed of the recording. Look for the icon that looks like a time signature with a note equals question mark. Tap on that. And then we're going to also tap on the note equals question mark icon. Here we'll have the option to change the recording and playback speed. You can, you can select and move this dial up for faster speeds or move it down for slower speeds. Let's go ahead and slow this down a little bit to 80 BPM. You can also on the left side change the note value that you're counting with. I'm going to go ahead and keep it at the quarter note for right now and tap OK. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and tap on the record icon in the bottom middle. I want to select the metronome so that I can hear the beat and play a little bit more accurately. And then I want to make sure that I have at least one count in bar. You can have more if you like, or none, but I suggest having at least one so that you can hear the speed that you're going to be recording at. Once you're all set, tap on Start Recording. Right. Tap on pause, and there you go. The notes are instantly written down and composed for you. How cool is that? Once you have your music written to your liking, you can export it as a PDF file or as a MIDI file, a music XML file, which can be read by other music notation programs, or even saved as an audio file that you can play and hear back. It's pretty an amazing app. So I encourage you, we're just touching the bare surface of what Notion can do, and I highly encourage you to explore that. But as you can see, the power of having a terrific digital piano, like the Yamaha N3X Hybrid Grand, wirelessly connected to an app like this, and the freedom to just play whatever you want and have that instantly notated is pretty amazing. Well, if you have any more questions about using digital pianos to compose music, please post them in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new videos. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.